back to my channel. Today I'm doing the assumptions video. I'm super excited to do this video. I went ahead and posted on my Instagram for you guys to make assumptions about me and then I'll video it, me answering the assumptions. And um, I told you guys not to hold back and you guys didn't, so thank you. I'm definitely gonna answer some of these questions. Um, a lot of people were asking about my ex, my daughter's brothers. Uh, I wasn't gonna touch basis on some stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and answer a lot of these assumptions. Um, I was going to make this video with GD, but I feel like so many of the questions were not ev involving him. So I decided that I'm going to make the assumption video by myself. And I do want to do a Q&A with him. So please comment down below questions you want us to both answer. I just feel like it wouldn't make sense for us to do an assumption video together and me doing all the talking. So um, comment down below Q&A video with him. I definitely want to make a video with him. So comment down below any other ideas of videos you want to see with both of us. Um, he's not like super camera shy, so it's kind of awesome. It is still awkward for me to be talking to a camera, but I'm getting better at it. Um, so let's go ahead and start this video. I did write down all the I mean all the assumptions. So there's three pages. So let's get started. You don't allow your little girl to see her brothers. I definitely, it's not like I don't allow it. Um, I'm not saying she sees them all the time, but there is times where I pick her up on a Sunday when she's at Drake's house and they're there. So I know she sees them. I don't know how often it is. I don't, to my knowledge, I do not think it's very often, but I know she does see them every once in a while. It's usually on a Sunday when I pick her up, I see them there. Um, you guys met online. I'm, I'm sure you're referring to me and JD. No, we did not meet online, actually. We met at a public place. I'll probably answer that in a Q&A with him, but we did not meet online. You won't answer this, but you let Drake see Arabella whenever he wants. I don't let him see her whenever he wants, but we do have an agreed... We don't have a custody agreement, but we do have like a scheduled agreement between each other that we both pretty much follow really well. So I don't... He doesn't ever ask like sometimes we'll switch things around like we just kind of agreed on like set days like you get her this day i get her this day every other weekend that's what we agreed on and that's kind of what we go by let me exit them let me mark them off if i don't answer any twice you don't really like jessica drake's ex i definitely don't have anything against jessica i feel like we super clashed in the beginning of me and drake dating of course i feel like what when your ex it was her ex at the time was getting together with somebody new like there's still feelings involved and things just get kind of ugly so we definitely like butt head we butted heads a lot when they were when we me and him were first getting together but now we really don't talk much we've we've texted here and there about the kids and um, i don't have anything against her she's a great mom You wish you and JD met sooner. Of course, I wish we met sooner, but everything happens for a reason. Um, we're together now, and I'm really happy, so it all worked out. Drake cheated on you with Jessica, and you were cool with it. <laughs> I wouldn't say I was cool with it. Of course, I wasn't, but yes, Drake definitely cheated on me with Jessica. Um, I think back to me and Drake's relationship, and... I just think why did I keep forgiving him he was so good at apologizing and being sorry and manipulating me to believing he was so sorry and it'll never happen again he cheated on me with Jessica so many different times probably like every time he was going over there to see the boys they probably they were like hooking up so I later on found that out I think I was yeah I was already pregnant with Bella and he was still hooking up with her and it's like it's so easy for someone on the outside to be like, why would you stay with somebody that cheated on you? Why would you be with somebody that cheated on you? It's like, it's hard because when they're super sorry, they're manipulating you to believe that they're never going to do this again. Like, it's like a weird mental mind fuck that makes you stay. So looking back, I'm like, oh my God, I would have left a long time ago. But like when I was in that relationship, it was so unhealthy. It was like, I believed he was sorry. I, I thought we can get past this. Things were going to get better. Like you hold on to like, the good you really do you hold on to like why you fell in love with them when you fell in love with them you hold on to like that so when they hurt you and destroy you it's hard to just leave them it's really weird but yes he did cheat on me with jessica and i was not cool with it drake doesn't like your fiance and is jealous of your relationship um 
I don't know if I answered this in my Q&A a few months ago, but they still have never really officially have met face to face. I wouldn't say he's jealous of relationship, but he does kind of do petty stuff sometimes. Like Bella will have a school event. He'll text me and say, is dude going to be there? Like dude has a name. His name is JD, but it shouldn't matter if he's there or not. Like you should be focusing on wanting to go there for your daughter, not focusing on is if dude's going to be there. Just saying. Okay, Ooh, page one. Alrighty, um, you don't talk to your mom. Um, I definitely do talk to my mom. I just don't talk to her on a daily basis. Um, we're not like super, I love my mom with all my heart. I hope she doesn't watch this and be offended, but we're just not super, super close. Like, we're just not super close. I'm not gonna touch too much on this just because the fact that she could see this and I'm not gonna hurt her feelings, but um, my dad pretty much raised us since we were like 15, 16 and then we weren't really around my mom all the time and I'm not going to go into why, but let's kind of skip that question. It's funny because I wrote down some of these questions and I was like, Ugh, I really don't want to answer this, but what's the point of doing an assumption video and not answering the questions people are asking? You know what I mean? So I'm not going to go too much into topic about that one though. You are having, you are having family pay for your wedding. No, we're not actually. Um, me and JD are paying for our whole wedding by ourselves, which I'm happy to say we are. Um, and when I say paying, I'm not, I'm not meaning, oh, we're putting everything on our credit card. We have saved up a lot of money for our wedding. We're really good at saving money. Um, we just bought a house, put a huge down payment down. It feels so good to financially be like where you've worked your butt off and you, you have something to show for it now. And um, we're paying for our wedding, not family. You grew up rich. I definitely didn't grow up rich. I would say I definitely grew up poor. Um, I wouldn't say we super struggled, but we definitely weren't super privileged. Like there was times like I wanted something, but I didn't want to ask my dad because I knew we couldn't afford it. We definitely did not grow up rich. You're tall in person. I'm so tall. If you meet me, I'm like the tallest per I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so short. I'm only 5'1. Which I guess I like being short. I don't know any different, so it is what it is. You can't be alone and are afraid. Oh wait, you can't be alone and are boyfriend to boyfriend. I definitely don't like being alone. Um I feel like, yeah, from Drake, I really, like, after breaking up with Drake, I really wasn't single for, like, I wasn't single for, like, a year. No. I think it wasn't even a year. I think it was fairly quickly when I met JD, but I definitely don't like being alone, to be honest. I don't know what it is. I can't, like, it sucks being alone, but I definitely did not plan on meeting JD. Like, we met so spontaneously. Like, I was not looking for a boyfriend. I was not looking for anything serious. I We met, like, super spontaneously, so it's, like... It really was like meant to be because we just met super like randomly. Like I wasn't even going to go. I'm going to touch bases on the Q&A probably with this. But I wasn't planning on going to where I met him at. Did not want to go. And I got dragged there and I met him. So it's like it's weird how it all happened. But I, I, could, I guess I can honestly say I don't really like to be alone. But I'm definitely not boyfriend to boyfriend. I haven't had like a ton of boyfriends. So... JD is a lot older than you. Not gonna lie, he is a lot older than me. He is 14 years older than me, which sounds like, oh my gosh, 14 years, but it doesn't feel that way. Like, I feel like I had so much going on for myself when I met him. It like, there's no way I could have met some boy that like lived at home with his mom and that was like my age. Like, no, like I needed to find myself a man. He's exactly the type of man that I like and want and he is, has so much going for himself. He's so mature. He's such an ideal man. And that's exactly what I needed. Like I went from little boy, immature, cheater. No offense, Drake. We get along now. But now I'm dating a man. And it feels, it's such a difference. I'll tell you. Like he cooks. He helps with things. Like he doesn't mind sitting on the couch and folding laundry with me. Like going to the store with me. Doing little things with me. Like he's such a mature man. And I'm just so thankful that I found him. You hate Drake's girlfriend. I don't hate Drake's girlfriend. His girlfriend's super awesome. Um, at first, we definitely got along. Like, we kind of text her, like, we've came a long way, girl. We definitely have came a long way. But um, at first, we just kind of were like, 
really cat I think there was even a time where we like almost like we're like we're gonna fight each other like we just like did not get along but now like she's super awesome like I don't even really like if Bella's over there I barely even call Drake's phone because he doesn't want to get off the couch I'm like so I just call Stephanie's phone she lets me FaceTime her she sends me pictures she got me something for Mother's Day I got her something for Mother's Day like she's super awesome love you girl Aubrey's mom and you mom Aubrey's mom and you are friends. I wouldn't say that we're friends. I wouldn't say that we don't get along. We just don't really communicate and talk. Like when they talk about Aubrey, it's all through JD and her. We don't really ever talk. So I wouldn't say we're friends. I'm almost done guys. That was quick. So I just had to use the bathroom. So I tried to like pause my camera and I just knocked over my whole stand. Thank gosh it's not broken, but I'm almost done here. So, um, where are they at? Drake tried to hook up with you after your guys' breakup. Um, most definitely. He definitely tried. I'm not going to lie. He tried to hook up with me for months. He would add me on Snapchat. He would text me. And it just got to a point where I just kept telling him no, 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 no. Uh, he eventually probably got the hint. But... Definitely, he tried to hook up with me multiple different times. Ah! I feel you are genuinely a really sweet person. Thank you. Really appreciate that. You didn't want. Hold on. Hey, I'm making a YouTube video. Can I call you back? Yeah, bye. Bye. Okay, you didn't want to stop making YouTube videos, but you had to. Um, I didn't have, I didn't, I didn't have to. Um, so the thing is with Drake, it's funny because now that he knows I'm making YouTube video again, he like YouTube videos again, he texted me. He's like, oh, so you're really making YouTube videos again? It's like, what is it to you? But anyways, when we were together, he did not mind. When I told him I want to start making YouTube videos, he was like, cool, that's awesome. Like he really did not care at all. He just is not like a camera person. Like he doesn't want to be up in the camera. That's just not the type of person that he is. He, but he didn't care that I was making YouTube videos. But when we got back together, like he, he cheated on me, right? Yeah, he cheated on me a million times. He cheated on me and then getting back together, it's like, what am I going to be filming? Oh, I'm with this cheater again. Like, so I kind of just gave it up, you know? So, but he didn't make me, it wasn't like an option. It wasn't like you have to do this. I mean. Okay, you were with Drake when he was still with Jessica. I was definitely not. I I actually got this question like a bunch of times. I was not with Drake when he was with Jessica still. Yes, Landon was very young, but they were not together or living together or dating. Like she was doing her own thing. He was doing his own thing. Like I definitely was not with him when they were still together. No question or assumption, just sending a shout out. And the best of wishes to you and your family. Thank you. I love stuff like this. Like, you guys are so sweet. You want another baby. I think that's, like, kind of obvious. Like, yeah, I do. Just not necessarily maybe at this moment. But in the future, yes. It's funny because I'm kind of, like, back and forth. Like, the girls. Like, Aubrey's almost nine. Bella's almost five. It's like, do we really want to completely start over? But um, I feel like we definitely probably will have a baby together. Hoping for a little baby boy. You regret not believing all the rumors about Drake, but, but don't regret your daughter. I would say yes, but I feel like the things that are like that relationship put me through, like drug me through the mud. It made me like such a stronger woman and mother and person today that looking back at that relationship and how happy I thought I was to like finally be with somebody that's like so genuine and so caring and so much different I feel like it helped me be the person I am today so I wouldn't say I regret it um it definitely was hell going through it I our final breakup destroyed me destroyed me in so many different ways you know I thought things were amazing to, amazing like things really turned around you know, he did have his cheating episodes with me, but then he had his good streak, you know. And then to come to find out he was cheating on me again, he left to a softball tournament. And he was pretty much cheating on me the whole weekend. And 
the fact that he was texting me the whole time like i miss you baby i love you how's my daughter can't wait to be back with you texting me frequently the whole time calling me at night to come to find out he's literally trying to sleep with some girl and like it was and this is something i know there was fact proof hard evidence so it happened and it's kind of hard to like it, i don't know i was super depressed but i don't regret our relationship you know i ha and i definitely don't regret my daughter so it all everything always works itself out for a reason it was definitely hard going through that i like reached the lowest point of my life where i literally did not even want to live anymore i was so depressed and like to think back like wow he put me through that depression it's like now i don't care what he does who he's with whatever as long as my daughter's in good hands and she's healthy and fine I don't care what he does and it's like it's crazy because I never thought like I could get to this point and now that I'm at this point it's like everything worked out for a reason so it all works out I do not regret it though Drake isn't in Arabella's life um yeah he isn't in her life um he does he is pretty consistent about his schedule and we have a schedule that me and him mutually agreed on and we both stick to our days and our time so he is he is involved in her life and before people start asking me why is he in Arabella's life and not in the boys' life don't ask me that that's not the question I'm not the person I don't know I'm not with Drake I don't know I don't know how much he really sees the boys all I know is how much he sees my daughter because she's away from me when he sees her obviously so don't ask me those questions because I'm not the person to ask I've seen the boys a few different Sundays I do not think it's a regular thing all the time I don't know so don't ask me Did I seriously just answer everything? That was quick. Comment down below. I want to do a Q&A with GD. I want you guys to meet him. Um, please comment down below. If you guys have any questions about any of these assumptions, please comment down below as well. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you are subscribing. If you want me to make more videos, subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys. Have a great day.